Well, hello, Parkwood family. I miss you. Uh, each time I see one of you out somewhere, I let you know I miss being with you. I miss preaching. I miss seeing your faces. I miss worshiping with you on Sunday. I cannot wait to get back. I just want to thank you for the time that you have given me in this sabbatical. The time of study was wonderful. I was challenged. I, I think I've grown as a result of it. And the time in October to just rest and enjoy my family and enjoy being around home and doing some things that I love, it's been a great time. But I am ready to be back. Now, I, I want to express my gratitude to the staff. Um, I could not have been away without you as a church, but without the staff. And I, I'm grateful for these brothers. I'm grateful for what they do each and every week and for the ladies who serve in the office and in other capacities. I'm grateful for each and every one. This month is Pastor Appreciation Month. And I just want to encourage you to join me in expressing your gratitude to them in some tangible ways. Write them some notes, send them an email, give them a text, give a gift if you feel so led. And let's not forget Dr. Jim Shaddix. Every time I run into somebody, people are sharing with me how much they love Dr. Shaddix. I knew that you would. This Sunday is his last Sunday. So please, in a tangible way, let this brother know that the three months that he spent with you were important to you personally. They were important to the church. Write him a note, send him a tweet, even give him a gift. But let Dr. Shaddix know. There's going to be a basket at the info desk this Sunday where you could drop off a, a note or a gift uh, to Dr. Shaddix and let him know. But make sure you speak to him personally if you get the opportunity and express your gratitude. I certainly plan to do so, and I cannot believe that God provided such a wonderful man to serve you while I'm away. Now, I'm looking forward to be back. Now, don't be confused. I won't be here this Sunday. I'll be here November the 5th ready to preach through Galatians. So start reading through it with me, thinking through it, praying through it, as we get an opportunity to share that there is no other gospel but the gospel of Jesus Christ. Look forward to sharing it with you and seeing you face to face. God bless you.